So today I want to talk about OmniFocus for iPad as a pretty much full-time iPad user. Oh, let me shut off my phone. I've been digging in to OmniFocus lately and just seeing what's up, how does it work, and is it really a power tool for iPad users? That's what I'm going to talk about today. Is OmniFocus really the tool that uh, people are using their iPad, using their iPad with a keyboard, lots should be using too. Now, it's actually really, I'm not going into all the features of OmniFocus. We're going to talk about a few of the good things. One of the good things about OmniFocus is absolutely its review feature. There is no question that OmniFocus has the best review feature of any task manager that I have ever seen. It is great. Nothing even holds a candle to it. Um, I remember when I first started using uh, my iPad, and uh, iPad 2, I suppose, which is now hanging out with the kids. Um, it was great to sit down and really dig in to OmniFocus and do my review that way. That was no question, that was perfect. I think that still, if that's where you're going to be using your iPad to sit back and do reviews, um, OmniFocus is great. Like when you look at OmniFocus, one of the big reasons that that is good is that 98%, I'm totally a science thing. I just made that. 98% um, of the, or a big reason that most people fail with their productivity journey is because they don't do the reviews. They don't go back, they don't manage their tasks regularly, they don't really look at what they're doing. They just have, I don't know, they just never look at it. They have a list of things they sometimes might maybe do and they never look back at it and they never manage it. They never go back. Even if you're gonna do bullet journal, right? I've got mine on my desk, as always. Um, if you're using the bullet journal method, then going back and doing your monthly review of the items that you have to do, like that's important. If you're not gonna do that, then it, the system's going to fail you and any system will fail you if you're not using it if you're not reviewing it so omnifocus absolutely killer there right you can enter tasks omnifocus mac os really good i even find omnifocus for your phone pretty good for a phone but where it falls down is on the ipad and i would have to say we're going to jump to the end that if you're an ipad like really user you're going to be productive productive from the ipad omnifocus isn't quite there and there's a few key reasons First off, keyboard control. There is some, there are some keyboard commands in OmniFocus. Let's, let's take a look at them right here. We can open up OmniFocus and hope that there's nothing you shouldn't see here. If we hold down command, we can see that, yeah, we got some, some keyboard commands, a decent amount of keyboard commands, really. Um, it's okay, that's what I'd say. Now, what I have found is specific, let's hop right into a project, let's do this, because. See, again, so we're hitting this again. I go to projects. Now I can go into personal. Now I can go into pack. Now I see this. So why, I didn't write this in the, in the written version. This isn't in there, but it's in the screencast. So I go to projects. Why can't I just go like this and be like all the way into the project? Is there a way to do that at all? I don't know. I can't see it if it is. That's one of my annoyances. It always felt like there was just like, why doesn't it do this one like other little thing? It seems obvious. Uh, to go in here. And we also have different keyboard commands. That's what we're talking about. If I hold command for tasks, I have a different set of keyboard commands, right? I can toggle the completed. Um, I can edit the note name. That's good. I can jump to the attachments panel, right? With control three, control three, attachments, control two, notes, perfect. Um, I can do a bunch of stuff. I can add a new inbox item still from here, right? With control option space, new inbox item, great. But what are some of the things that I can't do? Uh, there's help, perfect, I can sync it. But what are some of the things I can't do? I can't access many of these things. I can flag it, I believe, right? Flagged, no, toggle flag, toggle flag, command shift L, perfect, right there, command shift L. But I can't access due dates, right? Can I, I don't think I can access tags. I can toggle dropped, toggle completed, but I can't access tags. Even more, there's this whole show more menu right at the bottom. And so there's extra things in here, which are great. And specifically, I use the defer a lot because I want to schedule out my days. And I use the defer date to make sure that I am, like, you know, if I have time between meetings, like my tasks don't really show up until between meetings. And defer is hidden here. And all of the times until like, I want to take screenshots for writing the script for this, writing the written version, I didn't find this button right here, customize inspector. No idea it was there. I can actually just take defer 
and drag it up. And that's, I guess, the second thing, right? I said the first thing is lack of keyboard shortcuts or they're just not as many as I want to get to some of the things that I want. That's the other thing, there's UI elements that are hidden. Specifically that customize thing it just feels hidden to me. I didn't notice it until I was taking screenshots and I was like, oh wait, it's there, great. I guess I can, do, do I have to like cut my whole thing? And I decided, no, I don't. I'm still right, there's UI that's hidden. I couldn't find it in a month, in like searching for like defer dates, OmniFocus iPad. I, no one said, hey, you can just customize this with that customize settings, what does it say? Customize inspector, it's just not there. Um, all I heard is hit show more and you can access your defer date, that's it. So other people clearly weren't saying, hey, you can customize that, don't worry about this problem. And that's, that's really it. I found that there's continually too much friction with OmniFocus as an iPad user, that I can't move tasks around very well, right? Can I move this task anywhere? I don't even know. Previous, next, no, nope. Can't move the task from here. Um, and unlike on Mac OS, I can make keyboard shortcuts for things. But here I have to go in there and move it some other way. I think this, I don't even know. See, you don't have hover either. So I gotta click it and see what it does. Move, yeah, so there's my move, but there's no access. I cannot access move from the keyboard. So I just have to do it, reach up and tap it or use the mouse, right? As I'm using uh, mouse support for iPad OS. And that's just it. Like. As I continue to come back to it, I keep going, oh, I just wanna do this. Oh, why doesn't, oh, why doesn't it do that? And it doesn't do this, come on. And it feels like friction. So my recommendation is that if you're Mac OS first, OmniFocus is stellar. If you are using the iPad as like a side tool to be productive, to view things when you're out and it's not your main workstation, then OmniFocus is fine. If you're using it on your phone, OmniFocus is great. If you are, yeah, that's it. If you have super, super complex projects, OmniFocus is still pretty good. Um, some of the most complex, you might need a real project management tool, but this is great. Um, if you're iPad first and you're looking for a tool that makes it really easy to use all the time, OmniFocus is not it. it they asked me, said, hey, what keyboard commands should I have? And my standard response to anyone that says, I have keyboard commands, what should I use is every single item that you have in the UI, I should be able to hit with the keyboard command. That's it. I should be able to hit defer dates. I should be able to hit home more, show more. I should be able to move a task. I should be able to do all that stuff without touching the screen at all, just like a power user would. Thanks for watching. If you like the videos, if you like what I'm talking about for iPad stuff, then you can support me at curtismichael.ca slash Patreon or patreon.com slash Have a good one.